hello people you are welcome back to my channel my name is grace in this video i'm going to be taking you through the process of making this lovely booboo you are seeing right on your screen i folded my fabric into two first thing i'm going to take my neck measurements which is three by the front neckline the base is going to be three and quarter I just marked it then the base for the back this is the back is going to be 1.25 that is one and a quarter and I curved it this way then curve the front base that is 3 by 3.25 then I'm taking the length measurements of the gown the length is 60 60 i want it to be very long i took the length from the base this line that i marked here then i'm going to take my shoulder measurements plus the sleeve length which is 29 plus one is 30 i just marked it then i'll come down here by two for my shoulder slope this is for the shoulder slope then i'll connect it to the neckline i've done that then from here i'll mark my sleeve opening to be six six inches for the sleeve opening after that i'll go to the hem and mark the hem i don't want the hem to be too wide so i'll make it my hip divided by 4 which is 11 then i will add 4 inches to it to make it 15 so i just mark 15 at the hem then i'm going to connect it to the i will mark it straight i will join it from my sleeve opening to the hem like this with the use of my ruler like this you can see that it is wider at the arm at the side of the balls then coming slim and slimming down at the hem that's the shape i want for the booboo -boo. that's just the way i want it i don't want it to be too wide around the hem area that is why is that's why the shape is going to look like that After that, the next thing I'm going to do is to, I will raise this place up for my sewing allowance on the shoulder. So this, I'm cut, I'm going to cut on this line. This line, I'm going to cut on it. I've cut it out and place it on the front, on the front so at the front here i have one and quarter one and quarter here extra one and quarter for the opening around the at the hem there is an opening at the bottom hem so that is going to work for that then for the front it's going to be i'm going to be having a veil neckline at the front so i mark the front base to be seven and quarter right now so after cutting it out i'm going to slit this place i'm going to open it up the one and quarter i left at the center front so that is done um Cutting out the facing. This is the facing for the back. I folded the fabric into two, then placed the back on it. Just what you see me doing. So, this is the facing. This is how to cut your facing. So, I'm going to trim this place off a bit.
after that the next thing i want to do is to measure the opening the opening the slits at the center front i'm marking 22 here this is 20, this is one and quarter i left earlier so i'm going to sew from this neck point from here down to the 22 i marked so i'm reshaping the the neckline at the front i've joined the center front the one and quarter that i left at the front i've joined it together so i'm shaping the front neckline now i'll go ahead and cut the facing as well i folded a piece of fabric into two then place the front on it the neckline so i'm cutting it out then this way So I will shape it down like this. So after after this, the next thing I'm going to do is to. Can you see? So let me just place it on it, and I'll go ahead and join it with half inch. So I will use it to turn the neckline. That's what I'm using to turn the neckline to finish it up this way. I'll go ahead and sew it like this. Let me pin it down. You know, I don't do without pin. I love to pin my fabric. So I've done that. I've sewn the Emmy. I've sewn the neckline rather, so after that I gave it a good press using my hemi gum. It is very important to use hemi gum on the neckline. Put it underneath it and high on it. This is hemi gum. You put it underneath it like this, then high on it, so it will make the facing to be stable. It will not be coming out of your dress when you wear it. So I want to go ahead and join the shoulder. I place the back on the front facing each other, right side facing each other. So I'll join it. Then at the the sleeve opening too, I will just tape it like this. I'll just sew it like this with half inch, then sew the side with half inch, then finish it up at the hem with the sewing allowance I had it at the hem with one inch anyway. I'll just the side is going to be joined with half inch the hem one inch just sew it around and finish it up so after that this is what i have you can see it is looking beautiful